Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Meyer here, we've got their cherries on sale, $3.99 a pound. I got a price $5.99 a pound, so a little bit of a deal. And we notice Meyer has their peaches and nectarines on sale, $1.49 a pound. Regular price, $2.99 a pound. So all you have is Meyer, $1.49 a pound this week. More price increases on apples. Honeycrisp apples have gone from $2.99 a pound to $3.29 a pound. Pink Lady apples are now $2.29 a pound. That is up from $1.99 a pound. And then Gala Fuji, Granny Smith are $1.99 a pound still. Now they got their personal watermelons or honeydew melons or kiss melons here. Part of a buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for a dollar. Not a bad deal. No sales on berries this week, guys, but I know we get a lot of comments on them, so I just wanted to go over some of the regular prices and some of the price increases. Uh, strawberries still the same price, $2.69 a pound, $3.19 for a pint of blueberries. $3.49 for raspberries, $2.89 now. For a six ounce pack of blackberries that is up from 275 and it looks like the two pound batches of strawberries no longer on sale five dollars and 49 cents for two pounds okay so this is in the organic section but it doesn't say organic on it but this is two pounds of blueberries for 4.99 it says regular price 6.99 so that's a pretty good deal two pounds they've got their uh strawberries organic $3.69, raspberry six ounce packs, which they have one right here, $4.99. If you're gonna get these blueberries right here, I mean, these are organic, $4.99 for a pint, but two pounds for $5, it's a great deal. This look like they got a little bit more corn in from last week. They, they only had a few different ears of corn here last week. This is all they have. Usually they have bins of it this time of year. They are 59 cents a piece, uh, making it the highest it's been all summer. Still way cheaper than the four packs of corn. $4.99 for these now. Isn't that crazy? $4.99 for four years of corn. Just get this for 59 cents a piece and, and take the husk off yourself. Also, green beans, which we've been hearing a lot lately, have been skyrocketing in price. They are still $1.99 a pound here at Meyer, which I you know, I feel it's still too much, but they look good. Not many sales this week on produce at Meyer at all. Uh, they have a four pound bag of navel oranges, $5.99. I don't feel where that's a sale at all. $6.49 regular price now though. Uh, they got a five pound bag of red grapefruit on sale for $5.49, regular price $5.99. And a three pound bag of mandarins for $4.49 down from $4.99. Not, not very good sales at all. And they have a five pound bag of mandarins for $7.99. They do have the Fredericks by Meyer Campari tomatoes here, $2.99. Regular price, $3.99. Like they got rid of the other ones. Now it's all Fredericks by Meyer Campari tomatoes and they're charging more, $3.99 for a thing of these. $2.99 was the regular price before the Fredericks ones. To be fair, I've never tried the Fredericks ones. They could be really good. Also, someone, uh, I don't know if you didn't believe me or not, but the Sunset Tomatoes here on the vine, they are $2.49 a pound here at Meyer. I know someone couldn't believe the prices were that high. I can't either. I mean, they were, these were $1.99 a pound, went up to $2.19 a pound, and then just jumped to $2.49 a pound. We can find these cheaper in a lot of different places. Um, I bought a few here when they were on sale for $1.99 a pound, but that was about a month or two ago. Again, people have been asking any, uh, if I've seen anywhere that's had cheap asparagus or cheaper, it's been going up in price. I, I guess it's kind of out of season. $3.99 a pound here at Meyer, which is crazy. We did see it on a little bit of a sale for $2.99 a pound at Kroger, but that sale may be over. The regular price there, as far as I know right now, is $3.29 a pound, so. I don't know what's causing it to really skyrocket here at Meyer. There's never really any rhyme or reason anymore. These angel sweet tomatoes went up. These little cherry tomatoes, they were $3.99, now $4.29. I remember a little over a year ago that, you know, these sell pretty quickly, so they must be pretty good. 
but I remember when these were uh, 329 a little over a year ago so that's gone up a dollar in a little over a year someone asked if I would check some potato prices at Meyer yeah you know the reason I haven't uh, checked them out over the last couple weeks because there's been absolutely no sales um, five pounds here for 449 that is up from 399 that used to be a pretty good deal here at Meyer uh, I noticed that go up uh, a couple weeks ago but here's something that went down they have the three pound bags of red potatoes for 449 but the yellow potatoes these were 449 also well they both used to be 439 this one went up 10 cents now this one is 369 so this one dropped in price a little bit so that's good then they have the five pound bags of yellow potatoes for $5.99 and the red potatoes for the same price, $5.99. So anything in question, I would I would definitely take a photo of it to make sure they give it to you at the register in case they made a mistake. Um, let's see, five pound bags of the round white potatoes, uh, which I don't even see, $4.99. And then the 10 pound bags, $6.99. And we got some comments asking if I would check on Band-Aids again. It seems like this is an issue all around the country. Like, I feel like every month we get two or three comments in a week at the same time from different places around the country. And that's when I, I'm like, okay, we better check it out here. They do have a little bit of a sale on some of the Meyer Band-Aids here. Buy two, get one free uh, of equal or lesser value. And that is the Meyer products. Something down here. Okay. Yeah, that just says the same thing, just a bigger tag. But they do have an okay amount here at Meyer. But I will say, I mean, there are gaping holes. But, uh, you know, we were at Walmart a couple few weeks ago, and they were very low on their Equate brand. So we'll continue to keep an eye on this stuff. Always good to have something. That's why when you find this stuff, you know, and if you, if you get a sale on it, if there's a sale, I would definitely buy up a couple, buy up a few. Because you always want to make sure you have this stuff in case you need it. Someone was asking about Insure Drinks, one of our longtime viewers. I gotta say, I haven't looked at this stuff in a while because we haven't gotten a lot of comments on it, but look at this. $12.19. The last time I checked on this at Meyer, it was $9.99. I think it's $9.99 at Kroger now. I don't know. It might be more than that at Kroger. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while. Um, you know, as far as shortages, well... I mean, they have, you know, they have some here, but yeah, it's definitely, I feel like this used to extend out where the boost was here. Not really too sure. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a long time, but they do have it here at Meyer. If you have a Meyer, they do have it. May want to consider uh, trying to order it online and try and find the best deal possible too. A lot of this stuff's getting really expensive. And while we're over here, I figured we would check out some of the cold medicines. We are going to be coming into that season, guys. So it might be good to stock up on a few of these things. Let's see. Buy one, get one of equal or less value. Midol or Relieve or Bayer. Get one 40% off equal or lesser value. They got some P&G deal going on here. Save $10 on your net in-store purchase. Next in-store purchase with printed at checkout. Buy $30 or more. Save $10. That coupon will get uh, that'll come out at checkout. So, yeah, you can make that work for you. Boy, a lot of this stuff is missing here. Not used to this. This is like different uh, Imodium AD and Tums and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, they have a ton, but again, not used to seeing it this low. They got plenty of Pepto Bismol, but uh, yeah, plenty of Metamucil. <laughs> I don't know. As a, like I always say, when we start getting close to fall, make sure you're stocked up on like your different cold medicines, allergy medicines, stuff like this, because this is going to be the stuff to fly off the shelves. Well, when it rains, it pours, guys. Somebody had warned me that there wasn't very many good sales at Meyer this week, and I do have to agree. Twelve ninety nine on sale, on sale for ribeyes. On sale. I, it's hard to even focus on this, guys. $15.99 regular price. It was $14.99 regular price last week. And then two weeks before that, $13.99 regular price. I mean, this is getting kind of ridiculous. Um, we knew it would. We knew meat was going to be going up. We've been saying it on the channel forever. You know, for the last couple months when we knew that meat had started skyrocketing in price, we've been, we've been talking about it everywhere. Uh, let's see. We got cheaper quality steak. 
chuck eye steak buy one get one 50 percent off regular price 7.99 a pound 7.99 a pound for for the cheap quality used to be 2.99 a pound regular price all day I, I don't know. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, 50% off. So you could work this out to where it's, I don't know, a little cheaper. They do have sales on their certified Angus beef, ground beef from Chuck or Chuck Ice Steak, like we saw over here. Buy one, get one, 50% off. The price on this is six something. Uh, $6.59 a pound. Used to be $6.39 a pound. Or wait a minute, is that the unit price? Hold on a second. Uh, $6.59 a pound. Yeah. Regular price? Wait a minute. Regular price is $7.51 a pound. That don't make sense. Must be $6.59 a pound. Ugh. It's been a while since I've had to put out a massive price increases at Meyer here, but it's looking like we're heading that direction. $3.49 a pound on sale. The sale uh, two weeks ago was $2.99 a pound, $5.29 a pound regular price, regular price was $4.99 a pound. So regular price goes up, sale price goes up, but as you can see, the sale price went up a little more because it would have been, if you factor in the difference, $0.29, cents, that would have come out to like $3.29 a pound. So everything's going up, guys. Get ready. Be prepared. Be prepared does look like the chicken breast is no longer on sale at all 309 is the regular price and they're pulling a kroger deal putting low prices on so are they gonna do like kroger then so when we see these low prices does that mean does that mean they're holding it until it goes up in price again kind of the kind of the foolery the trickery that we see in the grocery stores i mean why put low price on there i oh, if it wasn't right that's how i've always looked at it and usually when this happens at kroger we'll see the regular price increase not long after this so i don't see drumsticks on sale anymore uh so that would mean they're a dollar 69 a pound i don't even see any drum legs uh the thighs here though dollar 49 a pound this week on sale down from a dollar 99 a pound to be fair it's been a dollar 99 a pound for a while they still have the whole chicken here um dollar 29 a pound down from a dollar 49 a pound and here's an okay sale they've got the uh, Genio ground turkey 8515 uh, this is the 48 ounces three pounds for 899 and that's down from 1199 that's a good deal I don't see any Meyer chicken drumsticks at all they've mixed this Katie's chicken back in the middle here I know some people like like Katie's chicken that is 779 a pound but you know that's expensive anyway okay yep just chicken thighs $1.49 a pound on sale and no sticker. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's some drumsticks right here. Okay, these are still 99 cents a pound. There's no tag or anything for it. This must just be something they're trying to get rid of because there's only a few packs left here. 99 cents a pound. That's probably why they don't have a so I don't know why they wouldn't have a sticker here anyway. Okay, so this could be store specific, but at least for these packages here at Armeyer, 99 cents a pound still. Okay, so we've been having a lot of comments on bread being short lately. We've gotten a lot of comments over the last week of different shortages of bread. Now, one thing I will tell you, we did not do a video, but me and Jessica did a little shopping at Kroger Marketplace yesterday, and they were pretty scary low on bread. Jessica was even asking, what is going on? And I said, well, it's Sunday. People probably buying up a lot here. They got Sarah Lee on sale, $2.99. Not the whole wheat though, but look at the regular price of the whole wheat, $2.95. Kroger, it's $4.49. But yes, our Kroger was probably just low because it was Sunday, but they only had a few things of uh, butternut bread, which was very unusual. A lot of their more expensive breads were sold, uh, which was kind of surprising. $2.49 for Sunbeam here now at Meyer. This was $2.39. Huh, okay, well, 10 cents. It's been $2.49 at Kroger for the longest time. Uh, Let's see, plenty of hamburger and hot dog. Yeah, Meyer's loaded down here. So if you don't, if you have Meyer and you're having trouble getting bread at Kroger, check Meyer. They have a lot of different options. They've got their own brand plus Frederick's. Uh, Frederick's brand is pretty good. They got them right here. Uh, I arguably like Private Selection Premium uh, of Kroger better, but these are okay. And yeah, it does look like they got plenty here at Meyer. But just wanted to address this because we have gotten a lot of comments this week. 
Uh, Starkist Creations here are $1.49 now. We saw they went up $0.04. Cents. They were $1.45 a pack. It's been a couple weeks ago since they did that. Uh, $1.19 for Starkist Tuna here. We've been seeing these are $1.29 at Kroger now, regular price. Um, they do have a lot of different tuna options. Some of it's kind of expensive, though. Uh, let's see. They got the four-pack of Bumblebee Albacore Tuna in water, $6.99 down from $7.39. $6.99 was the regular price of this a couple weeks ago. Looks like as far as Keystone Meats go, they have gone up here as well. They used to be a little cheaper than most places. The pork and chicken were $7.39. It's been a while since I've checked on this, Ed Meyer. Uh, they're $8.49 now, and the beef was nine dollars and 69 cents and now it's ten dollars and 49 cents so somebody wanted me to check out keystone meats at walmart it's a little cheaper but you may want to check walmart anyway to see if you can order it online through walmart and maybe get uh if you order enough you probably get your shipping for free because if you order directly from keystone shipping is expensive i noticed a couple more price increases here as well the chicken and dumplings by denty moore you know these are hard to find though I can usually only find this one at Meyer here. Sometimes Walmart, but they rarely ever have it. Uh, these were two ninety nine, now three thirty or three nineteen, now three thirty five. And then the sweet Sioux chicken and dumplings. What somebody was saying on the channel, this has changed. It does not taste the same. These were two ninety nine the last time I checked. Now three three nineteen, but two forty nine on sale. All of the Denty Moore products have gone up here. The beef stew, that was two fifty nine is now 279 uh they do have the 25 percent less sodium there for the same price 279 but these were 299 i believe this is 15 20 ounces 20 ounces for 335 these were 299 it's been a while, little bit while since i've checked but these were 599 for the big one here and now 619 boy well here we go guys everything going up here at meyer let's check the spam oh yeah spam's ridiculous three dollars and 85 cents that is up from 369 369 to be fair we've been seeing it go up to 399 in a lot of places so 385 still cheaper than kroger kroger's is 399 but still another product's gone up to be fair though the bacon one here is still the same price you should try this one it's pretty amazing oh i thought for a second that the regular hormel chili with beans went up to 239 but it did not it is still a dollar 99 i was looking at these right here these are like more added stuff in here this is the angus this one's always been a little more it's been 339 for a, a while uh but yeah the one with beans still a dollar 99 here at meyer looks like meyer has some deals on soups uh by six or more it has to have this coupon in front of it in order to count so and i don't believe it says which one's just soup it says buy six dollars or more of select soup products get a dollar fifty off your next shopping trip uh buy ten get three dollars off so that does include amy soups and if you are going to buy these these expensive soups here that you can make this uh well worth it to you and that does include a lot of soups here at Meyer. This uh, Campbell's, well, yes, brand here uh, does include Progresso as well. All these are mix and match too. So, um, and you want to find out too, like if you're going to spend more than this, if you're going to buy 10 and save three, you may want to do multiple transactions so you can keep getting those coupons. Not 100% sure that would work, but that is what I would try if I was doing it. Um, and it also includes the Campbell's Chunky here which is pretty awesome don't know if it includes that home style no sticker all of these ridiculously expensive sippable soups right the whole reason it's expensive is because of the advertising and the way it's contained with this metal thing in here and the plastic top like it's it's a convenience fee these days right an inconvenience is considered a convenience i guess they have the smaller ones here part of this by six too and all of these are part of that and then yeah okay all the 10.5 ounce cans are part of that as well you can really make this work for you like i said maybe try multiple transactions or ask them you know when you get in line to make sure that it'll keep coming off chances are it probably won't so i would try the multiple transaction thing do that first do this first like if you're checking out i would you know if you're spending ten dollars worth of these check that out first get that coupon make sure it works and then do it again you know what i'm saying 
like that way you're not putting your whole your whole list of things your whole cart of things on here and then something not work and that's just going to frustrate you even more uh and the okay chicken noodle and tomato are included too i wanted to check that out because they're cheaper dollar 29 for those that's funny because you're going to actually pay more for the cheaper one here this week at meyer than you will for any of the other ones that are normally a dollar 89 a can you do have to buy four of these to get them for a dollar 25 a piece though and that might actually be included and they just didn't put a sticker up but don't quote me on that looks like that sale deal uh includes different meyer and swanson broths as well so yeah you really make this work out to your advantage this week no change in prices on any of the dry beans or rice as far as i can see here i was kind of looking at them off camera uh, it is 15.49 for the 10 pounds of the ben's original long grain rice here which just used to be 12.99 so this went up but this went up way before the uh indian export rice the rice export ban from india this was this has been a couple months since it's been this price some people were talking about that um but they have yeah these are getting stupid expensive though if you ask me some of these beans one pound 219 269 for some red kidney beans one pound are you kidding two pounds of store brand basmati rice 479 two pounds guys that is crazy. Myers brand of jasmine rice, two pounds, three forty-nine, six sixty-nine for the five pounds. But they have the Mahatma jasmine rice, still seven, still seven ninety-nine here. It's been this for months. They do have some different rice options on sale too. Some of this ready rice stuff, like rice aroni, dollar uh, twenty-five. You do have to buy four of them to get it for that price, though. This ain't like Kroger. Got to get four of them to get them for a dollar twenty-five a piece, and they do definitely do not have the selection that Kroger does. Now they have these Near East brand here, 219 down from 255. And here's some of the seeds of change. Got some comments on this one. If it's going up in price, still 295 here, but we are gotten a lot of comments of this one. I know a few longtime viewers on the channel that love this and they've been saying this has been skyrocketing in price. So when you find a sale on it, might want to pick up one or two or not worry about the sale. Just if it's, if it's still cheap in your store, you may want to buy up a couple. We have gotten a couple comments from some longtime viewers. Some of your stores have had a shortage of canned tomatoes. We saw this around here a few months ago. Um, I try to keep an eye on it when I can. Uh, still cheaper than some places. Red Gold here is $1.15 compared to Kroger, $1.29. Hunt's is $1.34 at Kroger, $1.33 here uh, for most of the canned tomatoes. But yeah, no shortage here at Meyer, thank goodness no sale on Meyer cheese this week but they still have Sargento on sale guys this goes until Saturday August 5th 2023 $2.50 a pack you do have to buy two but you might as well $3.45 a pack regular price $3.99 regular price at Kroger now Kroger had these two for five also that sale may be over though uh, we'll have to check here in a couple days but this goes on until next Saturday good deal $2.50 pack. I know a lot of people on the channel who like Sargento. One thing is for sure, Meyer has replenished the distilled white vinegar. We've gotten some comments that there have been runs on distilled white vinegar. Well, we're kind of going close to the fall. It's getting close to canning season. All of this is the 5% acidity that everybody's looking for. Uh, $3.65, it's been this for a few weeks. That is up from $3.35, so it's gone up $0.30, cents, but it's pretty much been going up everywhere. So if you find it a little cheaper, Go ahead and buy an extra one, but good to see Myers is getting their, theirs back in. We've seen over the last couple weeks, it's been pretty empty. Yeah, a little bit of a deal on Del Monte canned vegetables here at Meyer. I always like saying that. You guys know I love my Del Monte. Um, and some of them, yeah, like the mixed vegetables here, $1.25. No extra purchase required. Some of these are still pretty expensive, $1.99 for some of these. That's a bit much, but you can always get the Meyer canned vegetables uh most of the regulars green beans corn peas they are 65 cents a can um again that's up from 59 cents from a few weeks ago but they've pretty much been going up everywhere i'm not surprised at all uh, not our favorite uh if we had to get if we were going to get vegetables we would get frozen at meyer frozen seem like they're okay but canned eh, not so much really just checking to make sure the prices are still the same uh powdered sugar went up we just noticed here dollar 89 and on the brown sugar, we noticed that went up also. And I don't see any dark brown sugar. There are 
two of them over here, which uh, Domino, it's a lot more, $3.09. Uh, let's see, four pound sugar, yes, it went up to three fifteen. Boy, I'll tell you what, in the course of a month, month and a week, two nineteen, two forty nine, two seventy nine, two ninety nine, and now three fifteen. Hopefully it stays there. We've kind of seen it level off. It's three twelve at Walmart. Uh, still two ninety nine at Kroger, but we're expecting theirs to go up as well. Uh, two ninety five at Aldi. So Meyer is pretty much the most expensive now, which is kind of shocking. I thought the sale had ended on the King Arthur here, but no, it is still. $3.99 until August 5th, guys. $3.99 for five pounds of flour. This is another item that we are expecting to really go up in price uh, here in the next few months. So make sure you have your flour. $4.19 for gold medal, five pound bag, all purpose here at Meyer. $4.49 at Kroger. Uh, I believe it's $4.19 at Walmart now, too. It was $3.83 there forever, and it went up to $4.19 also. And then the Meyer brand, all purpose flour. Uh, bleached and unbleached two dollars and 39 cents for five pounds so good deal there we had somebody asking about sunflower oil again only place i've been able to find it guys is meyer look at that price for it now though <laughs> 849 this was 599 a year ago we saw it go up to 699 but i i haven't checked on it probably since then. it's been a long time since we've gotten a comment on it 849 now that's crazy some of these packets like spice packets and chili packets and gravy packets guys they're just i mean they, okay one of them for less than a dollar uh, and that's meyer brand but boy these are these are getting really expensive look at this now i will say people say that they're able to find the pink himalayan salt at dollar tree um i've they rarely ever have it at our dollar tree i think people just buy it up this right here seven dollars and 29 cents seven dollars and 29 cents we've been saying that salt was going to be going up there's been a couple raises uh dollar 49 it was a dollar 39 for morton salt it's been a few months since the initial price increase on this but their salt is 75 cents and again if you are one that is having trouble finding spices we have gotten a couple comments on it um i always say check some of the cheaper stores like aldi and walmart walmart our walmart's usually pretty low though so i, I don't know uh, but if price is not a factor and you're just looking for some different spices, stuff maybe a little more, boy, something like this Kenders here, that's crazy. $5.39 for that? I don't know. These just seem to really keep going up in price. They got some of these organic options here by True Goodness, which is actually a Meyer, uh, their organic products. I don't know. Even if price is a factor, these things are getting ridiculous. Ground ginger here, five forty nine. These are little teeny tiny things by McCormick here. Um, a lot of this stuff, though, you're not going to find in bigger bottles. But I'll tell you what, some of them are pretty expensive. Look at that pepper, red crushed pepper in this little teeny tiny bottle here. Oh no, that's a bigger one. What am I? I thought that was okay. Still though, I mean, I like McCormick. They're good spices, but two thirty five just seems a seems a bit much for some crushed red pepper. Moving into our favorite part of the day here, favorite part of the week here at Meyer, checking out some of the coffee sales, which looking down the road here, there's not many. Uh, 18 ounce packs of Dunkin' is $11.99 down from $13.99. None of the smaller ones on sale. They have the IHOP blend here, $6.99 down from $8.89. And then they have the Costa still on sale for $6.99. People must not be buying this. I did buy some of this. It's okay, it's not the best. Uh, I got the medium roast here. Uh, $6.99, I, I feel is a good price for it though. Um, they have some of the, you can earn 3,000 points for every $15 you spend on Finnish Lysol, Javelia, Cottonelle, Viva, and whatever that other brand is, Mio. So any of those products, if you do the digital coupon thing of Meyer uh, and do the points, you can get some points for Javelia this week. Looks like Pete's Coffee's on sale for $7.99. It's an okay deal down from $11.99. Looks like most of the sales are the big bags of coffee this week. Not seeing any sales on the smaller ones. Uh, $17.99 for the different bigger bags here of Starbucks, Pike's Place, Espresso Roast. All of these are $17.99. So, and they have some of the whole bean right here for the same price. No sales on the Keurig pods of Starbucks. They do have some of the bigger Keurig pods of the Fredericks by Meyer Signature Blend, but. I don't recommend getting the Keurig pods of Fredericks. This is the only coffee I ever drank by Fredericks and it's really good, but you wanna make sure you get the ground coffee and 
doesn't look like that's on sale at all. Costco, Costa, I always want to say Costco. Costa here, $6.99 for the pods. And the pods of the Pete's Coffee are $7.99 as well. And people seem to think that these companies aren't watching each other like a hawk. You better believe they are. Nothing but the bigger containers here of the donut shop and Green Mountain coffees. I mean, an okay sale, $28.99 down to $24.99. None of the smaller ones are on sale, though. $8.99 regular price. No sales on the Dunkin' Pods. Cinnabon. Ooh, classic cinnamon roll coffee here, $24.99 down from $28.99. So, yeah, at least for the Keurig Pods, minus the Pete's and the Costa coffee, it looks like the bigger containers are the only ones on sale this week. So I don't know if uh, Kroger Digital Coupon is still going on, but they had Folgers for $6.79 at Kroger, and you can use that digital coupon up to five times. But they do have it on sale here at Meijer for $7.99. So if you don't have Kroger, but you have Meijer, $7.99 this week, still a good deal. And it does include the decaf. That digital coupon did not include the decaf. It, never includes a decaf at Kroger for some reason. I don't know what that deal is. And then lastly here we have the Dunkin', which this is an okay sale. 30 ounces, $16.99, down from $20.99. And then they have the big cans of Javelia here, uh, part of this digital point system if you do that. Uh, $16.99 though. And then Cafe Bastello, party size, $13.99, down from $15.99. So okay sale here. Bigelow Tea is on sale here at Meyer to back down to $2.79. Look at the regular price, guys. Remember what that was last week? $3.39. They've gone up. $3.59. $3.39 last week, blinded by the sale. Still, though, if you drink Bigelow Tea, I highly recommend buying them up because they're going to, we saw their $4.29 at Kroger now. So they're just going to keep going up. $2.79 on sale. I did just notice that they have the bigger bags of the Fredericks uh, Meyer brand on sale, $17.99 regular price, $15.99 on sale. So yeah, not bad. Here's a bigger bag of that Michigan Jerry. Yeah, coming back here, I noticed a lot of these Simply uh, Fruit drinks are on sale, $1.99. They got some of the Tropicana ones over here, $2.49. Now this is not the orange juice. The orange juice is $4.19. We saw where the orange juice went up to $4.39 at Kroger. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these different ones here. Fruit punch is all right. Absolutely no sales on butter this week at Meyer, except for the same one that's been on sale forever. The, I can't believe it's not butter. Not much of a sale. $3.89 down from $4.19. That's it. Oh, look at this. Country clock, country clock, country crock plant butter. On sale for $3.89 down from $4.29. I've never even seen this before. Just walk past it. I don't know. Let me know if you've ever tried these. Well, that was our trip to Meyer today. Sadly, more price increases. A lot of price increases, actually. Uh, more than I, I would have thought in a week here at Meyer. But you know what? We see this at Kroger all the time. Not too surprised. Some of the things we've seen go up at Meyer recently have gone up here as well. Uh, not as much. I mean, $3.59 regular price for that big low tea. Uh, which was $3.39 last week, but now four back up to $4.29 at Kroger for that. So I, I don't know, guys. Things just keep going up. Meat prices are getting ridiculous here at Meyer. I mean, if you're going to pay those prices, you know, find a local butcher or somebody that you can support because that's way too high. That's way too high. I feel, that's why a lot of that meat was sitting in there. I'm sure that's been there since yesterday. Who's going to pay even $12.99 a pound? on sale for ribeye. I won't. I'll quit eating it. I'll never pay that. That's ridiculous. $15.99 a pound regular price. A lot of the medicines were very low here at Meyer. a lot of the different things, but hopefully I'm sure they'll get that stuff stocked up. Could be some of what the sale going on. Also, don't forget, remember fall, kids are going back to school. Make sure you stock up on your different medicines, different uh, cold medicines, allergy medicines, all those things are going to be needed and those will be flying off the shelves. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I know it's kind of a frustrating day at Meijer. They've been so good over the last couple weeks, other than some of the meat prices and produce kind of, even apples, even some apples went up in price. I, I was surprised, surprised. I don't know, I'm, I'm surprised, but not surprised. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope it helps. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there. Thank you.